Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the, whenever it resonates with you, okay? It's intended for the um, last half of July, so at any time, really, going forward. Um, but uh, end of July, something like that, from now until then. Uh, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may not be for you. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? It's interesting how... Uh, you know, we had a blackout in the last reading I did. I had somebody comment, how is your computer still working? Because the computer runs on a battery, ding dong. Let's see what we got. interesting because I just talked about that blackout right it's interesting every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading you've got to you got to look deep don't don't look on the surface of things and I feel like that's a message that you really need to hear why somebody would even consider that I you know tried to deceive in any way instantly so somebody thought that I did that on purpose like I are you kidding me candle you will be shown the way this is the light this is the light it's interesting that I brought that up sometimes I bring up comments most of the time I don't sometimes I do but this time I felt like I needed to bring that up because somebody questioned it I mean common sense right do you have a computer do you have a phone when the power goes out it still works Until, until, you know, the battery dies if you can't charge it. But anyhow, Candle, you will be shown the way. Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. So there's a, there's a need to, you will be, you will be doing something risky, you will be. You're going to be shown the way, the, the light, the, the light is going to show you the way, okay? There is light, there is light, they're going to be shown the way in some situation, taking a risk. You're going to be shown the way and just do it. Because taking a risk, just do something because you're gonna you're gonna be shown the way towards the light. Towards the light. What do we have for Scorpio? 888. Eight, eight. Now Taurus got this as well. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Taurus. You could be. Uh, 888 is abundance. It is uh, everlasting love or it's infinity what goes around comes around something could be coming back around doesn't have to be um, the time is now with eights eights are a number of change abundance uh, movement um, strength the time is now What do we have for Scorpio? Planning a move. Somebody is moving or planning a move. Very interesting. So we have on the bottom of the deck, children are a factor. I think that Taurus got this as well. So you could be dealing with Taurus. I'm not sure, but there's something to do with children here and maybe a parent. 
somebody is planning a move, it's definitely time for a change. Let's get one more. Are you ready for this? A new sexual partner. So I don't know what is going on here, Scorpio, but there is somebody, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, could be somebody that you're living with because of this planning a move, somebody has a new sexual partner. I'm gonna show you what's on the bottom. Opportunity. Opportunity is in the palm of your hand. This is a golden opportunity. It's solid. It's stable. It's real. It's a gift. This is a new investment. This is new money. It's a new uh, opportunity that you can take to the bank, that you can hold on to. There's an opportunity that is in the palm of your hand. It is a big one. It is a big one. But you are going to need to take a risk and have faith that you will be shown the way. There is light here. There is light. You are going to be shown the way towards something abundant because eights are abundance. So you're being shown the way towards abundance. And this is abundance as well. This is a yes answer. This is, this is something, this is like a windfall. It is a gift. It is it is something that you asked for. It's something, this is what you asked for. So you are, here. somebody is going down a path that leads them to abundance, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody in this reading is probably going to be engaging with a new partner. There's probably a move in the future, okay? So what do we have for, interesting, I just cut the deck. We got the Knight of Swords, things happening fast. Uh, the Knight of Swords is just do it, take action, act now. Um, uh, something moving, swift, hasty, no fear, have no fear. Um, putting plans in action, direct communication. There's gonna be some sort of direct communication uh, moving very, very, very fast. Um, you know, something, you know, I, what I just heard with, was, and I don't know if how this pertains with you, was coming in, coming in, I don't know what it means, but vengeance, coming, that's what I just heard in my head, coming in with a vengeance vengeance i just got the devil reverse though so this is breaking free from toxic behavior breaking free from a toxic bond uh somebody is in a toxic situation or they have been in the past because this is in the past position let me get the cards the rest of the cards that is freedom taking back control nine of swords reversed Six of Swords, that is moving to a better place. Somebody is moving. They are moving. In the very near future, that's moving. That is picking up and leaving. Uh, moving on. Somebody right now is giving deep thought to a relationship. They have been bound. They have been uh, tied to a situation that is unhealthy, but they are ready to move on. They they're, they've have some regrets. They may have some fears. And it is definitely time to move. They, there may be plant, this Six of Swords is right underneath planning a move. Those are both move cards. So somebody is planning on moving. Herophon underneath the devil. So we got heaven versus hell. Good versus evil. Three of Wands reversed. Nine of Cups in the future, that's wish fulfillment, fulfillment. So that is moving towards wish fulfillment, happiness, having it all. Eight of Cups. Page of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. 
There's definitely going to be a change on the bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles. That is a realignment. Uh, I feel like there's a choice that needs to be made, a choice between two options, or two paths. Somebody needs to take another step. They need to stop playing games. Juggling is a game. Uh, stop uh, hanging on to something that is causing havoc in their lives. Um, in the past, we have a commitment that is toxic. It's not healthy. There's addictions. There's obsessions. There's infatuation. Somebody needs to break free from that commitment. They need to walk away and not look back. So there's something in the past that has held somebody back. It was infatuation. It was an addiction with the devil card. Um, there's there's social pressure or there's beliefs. Somebody may believe that they have to hold on. They may have received some guidance or some some sort of information from somebody that tells them that that this is you know the one that they need to hold on to. No, you need to walk away. Somebody needs to walk away. There's there's unhealthy behavior here. It's time to break free. Follow your gut. Listen to your gut. I feel like there is somebody here whose gut is telling them. I mean, the Hierophant is a direct connection to God. It is a channeler. It could represent Taurus. We have Taurus here. We also have Capricorn with the Devil card. We also have, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn a lot because we have the Page of Pentacles and we have the King of Pentacles. We, have, we definitely have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here the most. Um, I feel like there's a commitment here. Somebody has been committed to holding on to a toxic situation, a toxic bond, and it is definitely time to walk away. And I feel like either you or somebody that you're dealing with has been planning a move. They've been thinking about walking away from the commitment, breaking free. Um, and maybe it's you. Maybe it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. The, the devil reverse is taking back control taking back control from some sort of demon, right? Ego has been in the way, or pride, or fear. So there's definitely fear here. Fear of commitment as well. Um, somebody doesn't really want a commitment. They may have gotten themselves involved with somebody just to fill a void for instant gratification. There could definitely be a breakup here with the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords. Somebody is leaving. So I don't know if it's somebody that you live with because of this planning a move. It could also be at work. You know, you may be in a work situation where it's time to pack up and get the hell out of there because there's no, it's toxic. It's very, very unhealthy. The devil reverse is breaking free from an unhealthy situation where, you know, there's materialism, there's greed, there's obsession, there's lust, there's um, control. You know, it's not healthy at all, but it's reverse, so it's breaking free. I think right now, either you or somebody that you're dealing with is giving deep, 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 deep thought to a relationship. Their gut is really telling them that, you know, there's a better option. You know, there is. The, the Page of Pentacles is a new prospect. It's a new endeavor. It's a new path. It's not going to be easy. It's starting over. Um, we, right now, either you or somebody that you're dealing with is about to secure something. They're gonna, they're, they're about to secure something um, that is solid, that is real. It could be, I don't know if it's a place to live, or it's a partner, or it's a new job, or whatever it is. There's some sort of security that is coming. Okay. Um, it's, and, and you may be unprepared for it, There's some, or they may be unprepared. There's some sort of lack of foresight here. The middle card is the three of wands. That's unforeseen. You didn't, you don't see it coming. Wasted time. Somebody has wasted some time. They have been waiting for something to happen that isn't happening. It isn't happening. There's, there's, it's, it hasn't come, and it is time to go. It is definitely time to go. We, we have a, we have some sort of deep sadness here with the nine of swords reversed while waiting. It's time to go down a new path and broaden your horizons. And I feel like you've been thinking about that. I feel like uh, there's some sort of fear of commitment, though. But I do believe that there's some sort of guidance here. It's divine guidance with the, with the. Uh, Hierophant card. There, there we have we, the Hierophant is a direct connection to God that gives you um, your intuition. I feel like you you have some sort of guidance here. So you're being guided, and then we have that candle, which is a guiding light. You're being guided to stop wasting time, or somebody is. Maybe it's this Taurus that you're dealing with, or this Virgo Capricorn, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. 
We have somebody here that also has a very, very big ego. This could be the person that is in the past or somebody that lives lives with you. I don't know who it is, but there is a very egotistical, arrogant individual here who is very materialistic. This person um, is very money hungry, driven by money, uh, only cares about money, only cares about um uh, what they the investments you know financial investments maybe that's what you need to move on from and maybe maybe this has to do with your job i'm not sure i feel like you are going to be receiving an offer that is very very stable it's very solid it is it's what you asked for it's what you manifested um I mean, we have the King of Pentacles here. This is the, now. I don't know if this is a financial gift that you're receiving. Some of you may be receiving some sort of, you know, I don't know if it's a new job, but whatever it is, it's a new opportunity that leads to financial success. Okay, or if it's if it's if it's this Earth sign that you're dealing with, they could be receiving an offer. Somebody is getting an offer, and they are taking it, and they are moving forward with it they are moving forward i think they're going to move forward very very fast i think it's but i feel like it's a, a sudden thing it may be a sudden arrival or a sudden departure something could happen with the knight of the knight of swords that we saw can be sudden it's almost like a tower moment all of a sudden something shows up all of a sudden this is right here all of a sudden it's gone you know all of a sudden um, whatever is happening, it leads to wish fulfillment. Moving on leads to wish fulfillment. It leads to happiness. It leads to stability. It leads to something secure. Um, you are receiving some sort of gift. This maybe it's just freedom, because the 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 devil card is freedom. It is. It's freedom from a toxic situation. Maybe you live with somebody that's moving, and you're gonna start to feel some relief. Um, somebody is definitely going to someplace else. They're moving to a better place. And wherever they're moving to is going to bring a lot of happiness to everybody involved. Um, there is wish fulfillment. This is a wish being granted. Maybe you've been hoping and praying. Maybe you've been hoping and praying for something. I feel like there's some prayers that are being answered here. I see that you are uh, starting out, starting over. I think that you're going to be doing something maybe that you've never done before or somebody this could this could, I keep on saying somebody you're dealing with because this could this can be for the cross watcher we have somebody here that is embarking on a new opportunity that they have been they've either worked for it or they manifested it or they applied for it and the answer is yes they're getting the opportunity and they're moving forward they're moving forward towards peace and serenity and balance and harmony this is i mean the six of swords is leaving behind leaving the trouble behind you know um The offer is going to be accepted. Somebody is going to be given an opportunity. They're going to be giving an opportunity to, I don't know, maybe it's work for somebody else or move in with somebody else. And they're going to take, it's going to be taken. The offer is, is definitely going to be taken. Walking away. This walking away from a commitment that was toxic, that was unhealthy. But somebody was holding on because they were, they believed that they should. They, they, they had some sort of belief that they should hold on to this toxic situation. Headed towards wish fulfillment. Moving. Somebody is moving. Whew. Queen of Swords reverse. So we have this the Queen of Swords reverse. And then we have the chariot on the bottom. So this is definitely moving, packing up and leaving home. 
I think there's going to be some harsh words or some harsh information that comes out when you get the Queen of Swords in reversed. This it, this could this is like a wicked stepmother or a, you know it's a woman or a feminine typically I think. This is somebody who is hard to deal with, they're hard to handle. This is somebody that isn't very nice that is unwilling to look at things from a new perspective. The Queen of Swords in reversed is somebody that doesn't communicate well or can be not very logical, not very understanding, unforgiving. I feel like we have somebody here that, and this person is, is a bitch. I just gotta be honest. We have, so, or not very logical. Moving, moving on, moving on from somebody, moving on from, it could be a male though, it could be. Somebody is moving on. This person is very hard to deal with. There's a need to be logical. There's a need to look at things from a new perspective. I feel like you've been struggling or somebody that you're dealing with has been struggling with opening their mind, you know. They've been obviously tied to a toxic situation because of some sort of belief not being logical. It's time to move on, not being very smart. I just, I'm just being honest. We have somebody here that has not been very smart. They haven't used their, their mind or they're unwilling to look at things from a new perspective because of some, something, some sort of belief that isn't true with the Queen of Swords reverse. Un dishonest, dishonest. Somebody's been dishonest with themselves. And you may be dealing with an tr untrustworthy individual who doesn't tell the truth. I mean, the Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody that sometimes doesn't tell the truth. Definitely moving on. Moving on from somebody. We, have, we definitely have a very lusty situation here with new sexual partner in the Devil card. Moving on, moving on from something that is... Uh, based on um, desire, perhaps, not on stability, but headed towards stability because of the King of Pentacles down here. The King of Pentacles is solid, stable, secure, real, hardworking. So I think that you are headed towards uh, long-term stability, but there's a, new, there's a new avenue, there's a new door that is opening that you're going to be going through. Or somebody that you live with is moving and it breaks you free from this toxic environment. Or it has to do with work. You are definitely breaking free from some sort of situation that is based on instant gratification, you know. Or there's just, it's just very toxic. So, anyhow, I think that there's some sort of protection here. I think that... Uh, this is unforeseen with the Three of Wands. This is lack of foresight. You don't see it coming. You may have missed something. Maybe you've missed something. And you, there could be some regrets. Somebody ha may end up with some regrets. Walking away from emotional disappointment down a new path towards stability. Moving, moving to a better place or moving on, moving, moving. Somebody is moving. You are going to be receiving a gift, whatever it is, this gift is going to make you extremely happy. Maybe it's just freedom. Somebody is making you an offer. This is something that you can bank on. But it's not going to be easy because of that page of pentacles. That is, that's not easy. This is not easy. It's starting over. It's, it's, it's starting on a new, a new path, okay? 
It's not easy to start over, but it leads to long-term success with the King of Pentacles right next to it. So I feel like you uh, are going to need to be open-minded with the Queen of Swords reversed. You know, open your mind or your, whoever you're dealing with needs to open their mind. Open your mind. Look at things from a new perspective. Be willing to take a risk. Be willing to go down a new path. Be willing to try new things and leave something nice, huh? Leave something behind. I touched it. I touched the bottom of it with my foot. Um, Six of Swords. Be willing to leave behind the stuff that doesn't serve you so that you can get to a better place. You have to, you may have to sever ties with your old beliefs, you know, your old bad habits. You know, there's a belief, somebody here believes something that isn't true. I'm just being honest with you. You know, you have to wake up. You have to, you know, you're being guided. You're being shown the way. But if you choose to live in the dark, which is the devil, which is ruled by the shadow, if you choose to live in the dark and, and not see the light, then you will continue to be troubled. There is definitely a lot of uh, sadness and anxiety and despair about not getting what you asked for. But I feel like there's a better option here that is more solid, more stable, more secure that you, you know, you need to move towards. But you have to walk away from the bond that doesn't serve you. And that may mean that you have to move. Chariot is getting in the driver's seat, taking a journey, going someplace, packing up, moving, or just taking back control, you know, taking the lead, being the boss. I feel like you need to take charge. You need to take charge of whatever is going on. You're you're the you're the pilot of your life. Some of you are maybe you just need a change of scenery. Anyway, somebody that you are dealing with or yourself is moving in a new direction and they're moving they're moving towards a, a new sexual partner. So good luck.